It was a good day. I mean, uh, you know, the biggest thing is we're out here competing. Uh, everybody just getting a feel for each other. Um, you know, and just, you know, it was, it, was, it was hard. It was hard work today. Everybody was giving their effort. So, you know, obviously first day, a little sloppy on some, some turnovers from, from the whole group, but that's something we'll grow on and progress at once we know each other's spots and each other's games a little bit better. How did Shane Jerome look today? Oh, they look good. I mean, um, you know, both of them had had a, uh, good moments in in the first day. Um, you know, look comfortable as uh, first day NBA players. But uh, you know, the biggest thing is uh, as we do this training camp is how they progress day to day, uh, take care of themselves, and just continue to learn. Both of them are students of the game and want to want to get better, and um, you know, have a have a knack for just taking in knowledge and trying to incorporate in their game. So that's always a good sign. What's it like to have training camp out here in Hawaii? I know it's different, but what's, what's so special about it? Yeah, it's amazing. I love Hawaii. It's like one of my favorite places. So, um, you know, just to be able to be in a different type of atmosphere, um, you know, and just as a team be able to be here with each other and lock in. Uh, you know, that's what training camp is about. We spend a lot of time together, but especially to be here and spend even more time together from here to the bus, to the uh, back to the hotel, eating, and things like that. So I think it's awesome, especially being in a beautiful place like this. Coach, you mentioned some team building things in the works. What are you looking mm -hmm. forward to most about being here? Just, uh, you know, building a com camaraderie with our team. Um, you know, obviously the basketball course, just being able to play and get up and down with, with, uh, with the guys. You know, we're, from, we're, we're a new team, so we got to get a little bit more acclimated to each other. And, uh, you know, it's nice scenery, nice beach. Uh, so, you know, it's some, some fun stuff we can do also. Surf? No, I'm not surfing, but um, you know, Boban, he thinks he can surf. He was telling me about surfing today, and I was like, you're too tall for surfing. Have you recommended Hawaii to our friends and family who have been here? Uh, yeah, I mean, um, you know, I've been to uh, Kauai yeah. before, so that was a, I, I went on vacation there, and that was awesome. I loved it there, so um, it was good to get on this, this island and, you know, experience and see. and. Um, you know, hopefully get to another island like Maui uh, later on in my career. So I'm, uh, you know, I've been blessed to be uh, to be able to travel to these islands. Doc mentioned that having you guys all here, you know, in a confined space for a few days can help with team building. Did you buy into that? Yeah, of course. I mean, we're, we're going to be able to be here locked in. Um, you know, we were, like I said, we're going to be with each other, practice after practice and things like that, dinners. So um, it's always good to just be here with your brothers and get that chemistry and, and just have fun together as we play. It's a little odd because there are there's some continuity from this team, but mm -hmm. Gallo, Pat, Avery, you guys didn't play together much last year. Is it kind of nice to be out here and actually play with them and have been on the same team with them now for six or seven months? Yeah, especially with guys being healthy. But I mean, um, you know, with the, the phases that guys are in their careers, it's kind of, you know, we have this uh, mantra and this mentality that, you know, good basketball will produce, you know, a good playing team. and. We have smart players that know how to play good basketball and want to win. So we're all going to sacrifice those little bit of things to help our team and propel us. So, um, you know, the older you get in the league and the more years you, you gain, you understand that knowledge that winning take care of all, winning take care of everything. So we just have to do that. How did you react to the Clippers being on top of Jimmy Butler's wish list? Um, I mean, you know, for me, uh, we're here at training camp. That's the only thing I'll focus on. I mean, that's obviously great and all, but, you know, until if anything happens, it happens. But at the same time, we're here as a, as a collective group, getting ready, and um, you know, not too, not. I don't put too much focus on that. When you guys go to that smaller lineup of, of you and Gallo as the bigs, and then like Avery, uh, Lou, and, and Pat, mm -hmm. what are the advantages and disadvantages of, of going with a smaller lineup like that? Uh, well, I think the advantages would just be the versatility and um, being able to switch, you know, uh, you know, one through five, pretty much throughout, and then. Spacing the floor and shooting. I mean, Gallo, myself, uh, Avery, Pat, Lou, these are all, you know, really good three point shooters. So the lane's going to be open. Defensively, we just have to lock in and buy into that. I would say that would be the, the, the most worried about thing is just defensively what we do. But we have enough uh, guys out there who can switch and who can, uh, you know, be tough around the rim and, and, and board too. So we, that's a, you know, that's a, a lineup we, we look forward to seeing this year. I asked Doc earlier about his first training camp as a player, and he was, you know, getting nostalgic. Did he ever do that with you guys? You know, tell old stories about what it was like back in his day. Yeah, training uh, camp? yeah. I mean, back in the day, it was like training camp two a days for like a whole month, I believe. You know what I mean? So, 
the game's done changed. So shout out to technology helping us out here. <laughs> Thanks, guys. All right, thank Thanks, you. Guys. Appreciate it.